Hi, welcome back to my channel. Well, in this video, we'll try to learn how we can perform uh, a forward selection method or a backward selection method in context of multiple linear regression. Uh, so for that, uh, we're using a data set. This data set is already used in my previous video and we have five explanatory variables, one, two, three, four, and five. And we have a target variable here. This total carotene is our target variable. All these variables are continuous in nature. So in order to perform, uh, the multiple linear regression in context of forward and backward elimination matter we click on this regression then uh, we'll click on this linear regression uh, so uh, we will first click on this total carotene and we'll put it here then uh, we'll select all these variables then put them in this covariate dialog box like this way we'll put them in covariate dialog box so we'll be having a uh, output here uh, the first one is 0 0.76 this is our multiple uh, correlation value and we have correlation coefficient 0 0.76 and 57 percent of the variation in our total carotene or target variable are explained by all these five variables and we have a significant model p uh, value here uh, that means overall uh, the model is well fitted uh, but if we will see this coefficient of determination is found out to be 57 percent it is not so high uh, but as far as this, the output of the coefficients of uh, coefficients of this model are concerned, we have two categories. One is unstandardized, and the another one is standardized. Unstandardized are uh, these are the, those parameters which are uh, it is actually the summary of the parameters or the coefficients based on our raw or actual data. And these standardized coefficients are the coefficients which are uh, the coefficients which are based on the standardization of the data, uh, which is quite important in a way. Uh, because it makes a sense that all variables are supposed to have a unit uh, variance. Now, uh, coming back to the uh, model, uh, since we have a low uh, R-square value, but that doesn't mean that this is a quite insignificant figure. This is found out to be a significantly uh, significant uh, variation, but it is not. Uh, it is not the actual case that all these five are equally responsible for this amount of variation. So we need to check it out first. So if you will, uh, if you will see uh, the results of this p-value, only root t is found to be significant because it is having a p-value less than 0 0.05, and rest of the variables are not contributing significantly. Now let us try to verify it uh, by means of two methods. Well, first uh, start with this uh, forward elimination. Uh, so not elimination; it is forward selection method. Uh, this method actually uh, it starts with no variable included in the model and then adds the most relevant uh, variables at one time the overall model uh, or the final model based on this forward selection is found out to be root yield and this is single-handedly responsible for the 53 percent of the variation let us try uh, a backward elimination method we'll be expecting five models because this ba backward elimination method it starts with all variables which are included in the model then it uh, removes the least relevant feature based on the highest p value or uh, at one time so if we will see uh, these five models the first one all these five variables are included one two three four and five and here uh, a variable which is having the highest p value the highest p value is observed in case of shoot length because in this next model it is not retained and here in this case we have highest p value in case of number of leaves and you will see this is not retained in this model and same is the case in case of the fourth model because in third model we have highest p value in case of dry method but it is not retained in this and if you will see the root length is having the highest p value but it is not retained in the final. So overall, if we will see, root yield is only a variable which is having a quite a significant uh, uh, effect on our target variable, which is proved from these both approaches from forward as well as backward. So this is uh, single-handedly responsible the 53% of the variation. The rest of the variable jointly, they are giving almost 55 to 57% of the variation. But out of them, 53% of the variation is single-handedly response is explained by means of this uh, root yield. So both these uh, methods are quietly are widely used when we are dealing with a multiple linear regression when we are in a position to where, where, where we are not able to decide which of the variables we have to choose. So by your means of the application of these two methods, we can decide which of the variables are quite important 
or uh, they are able to capture the underlying structure or the underlying pattern that exists between the target variable and the rest of the code variates. Hope you will like this video. If you have any questions or comments, you can post on the comment section below. Thank you.